I think starting a rocket company is, is an unusual thing to do and, and, and pretty risky. But uh, I, I'm a big believer in, in us. Becoming a space sparing civilization and ultimately extending life beyond Earth. Um, when I was in college, I, I tried to think. My 15 seconds because apply pressure and 9876 and representing Entercourt Prattle 33 seconds into flight under the power of 5.1 million pounds of thrust Falcon Heavy is headed to space we're throttling down at T plus 40 seconds I've been here for my maximum dynamic pressure power chair nominal we're hearing reports power and telemetry our nominal vehicle is supersonic you may have heard the call out on that one vehicle is supersonic side boosters are throttling back up. On power is where through the period of maximum dynamic pressure trajectory looking good you can hear the applause behind me as we've gotten past maximum dynamic pressure next event coming up is chilling of the embody engine get the turbo pump ready to ignite the main engine on the second stage in another couple of minutes Merlin engine performance looks good we've begun dropping power on the side boosters to decrease loads. On the center core I can't load limiting hook down continuing to decrease loads to minimize acceleration on. The Falcon Heavy structure coming up on booster engine cutoff called Beko and separation of the two side boosters at Becca to kill successful separation if you could give me a little cheering side losers now site visitors have begun the boost back burn the center core has throttled back up to power everything looking good on the flight of Falcon Heavy the next major event management cutoff of uh, uh, large rocket development really large rocket development the center core at separation ignition of the second stage but a middle view shows of you looking up into the nozzle of the second stage into the nozzle of the second stage engine Miko main engine cut off center course again over the children of nectar looks good two people with things are out on the cigarette separation confirmed here comes the fern separation and we also have successful set bound of the side booster boost back burn so t plus 4 minutes 25 seconds of the flight site boosters on the way back to cape canaveral center court coasting to the trajectory nominal stage 2 looking good with a nominal trajectory and as you guys have noticed the griffins have deployed on these side boosters as well as the center core those work to help guide the boosters back to a nice targeted soft landing see those heading home right now as a reminder today we'll be attempting to recover all three of the first stage cores and all three boosters are currently on their way heading home in just a few minutes the side boosters will execute an entry burn followed by a landing burn and the center core will do much the same a few minutes later both burns are meant to slow the stage's speed down rapidly before landing as a time of separation the side boosters were traveling slow enough to turn around and make their way back to land at our side by side landing pads the center core on the other hand is going too fast to efficiently return to the cape so we're you Using our autonomous drone ship of course I still love you if we have a successful landing today the side boosters will be reflown on our next Falcon Heavy mission STP-2 now coming up at about T plus 6 minutes will be the side boosters re-entry burn acquisition of signal purview so see the side boosters on your left and right screen beside boost your entry. Burnett started stage 2 trajectory nominal, and the re-entry burn is complete for the side boosters coming up in about 30 seconds the center core which you see on your center screen will begin its re-entry burger burger sorry boosters are transonic, and there you can see the re-entry burn for center core has begun coming up in about 5 seconds here these side boosters landing burn will begin as well now we're waiting for the engine to shut down on the second stage and for the center core tile and all goes well we'll have successfully recovered all three boosters which we have never done before now coming up in about 20 seconds we're gonna listen for confirmation of seco one or second engine cutoff to fail I'd better shut up and we have confirmation that we just ran the orbit music and we have that confirmed good orbit now coming up here in about 15 seconds will be the center core landing burn beginning music so again as we mentioned earlier this is going to be a challenging Landing and we are landing on our drone ship of course. 
I still rather confirmation, and it sounds like we landed on our Joseph book we have landed the center pole for the first time on our drugs if of course I still love you for the first time we blended all three boosters for Falcon Heavy what an amazing day so now we are going to take so now the primary mission is still going well we are about to take we're about the edge of the coast base, and we're going to take a quick break we'll leave you with an animation, that shows you where we are. Throughout the coast phase we will be back at about T plus 26 minutes for seconds stays very light, and the deployment of our satellite about 20 seconds we're going to get ignition about a brief readmission of the upper stage engine to carry the payload into the desired transfer orbit confirmation of ignition we are up at the desired power tank pressure looks good the turbine temps look good you may have seen just the four ignition, the large white fluffy pieces and moving away may be solid oxygen. The stuff you breathe it's so cold that it's solid but it is not very dense it's very fluffy, and it is actually attached to one of the liquid oxygen. Overboard drain lines that we use so coming off is normal now this burn is about an 85 second burn in that time we'll add 2800 meters per second to our velocity that's more than the side boosters provided early in flight almost as much as what the center car gave us we've throttled down the engine. To keep accelerations below the limit for our air upset customer everything continues to look good the views of the nozzle of the upper stage engine coming from to SpaceX cameras on either side of the second stage continuing to throttle down and we have shut down right now we're waiting to hear what the final orbit looks like insertion guidance engineer over one of the nuts announced northern alert bird and Socia right where we want to be we're on a path that will take us almost 90,000 kilometers up above the earth well now we're in the good orbit we wanted we're going to coast for the next five minutes or so we'll be back with continuing coverage at t plus 33 minutes for the final step in today's mission deployment of the arab set 6a satellite if you've just joined us now you've missed a great day both side boosters landed at the Cape Center core landed second stage right in the desired orbit, and now waiting for separation as you can tell behind me the folks that watched the mission cheering ever upset 6A cut it away into the desired orbit doing its mission in space that puts a capper on what's been a completely normal day here at SpaceX, and with that that brings our webcast to a close thanks to our customer Arab Sat for trusting us. With tonight's mission thank you to the 45th Space Wing and Range Safety, and the FAA for licensing today's launch we'd also like to thank all of you our viewers for tuning in to such an exciting launch today follow our website and social platforms for updates on our next milestones and missions and until next time have a great night.